Hello. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Renzo here. Hello, uh, hello Jonas, hello Sopnir, Bob Drinkwater for Matt, hello Johnny, Eric, hello Barbara, hello Sharon. Okay, welcome to my channel. Let's let's paint. I'm gonna paint uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay. Second, uh, I'm gonna mention the colors I have here. Uh, titanium white, uh, yellow chrome, cadmium orange, cadmium red. Uh, I'm gonna add more red here. Uh, permanent alizarin crimson, this one. Ivory black, raw umber, and copper blue. Just need more red. Okay, about my brushes, I, I always use synthetic brushes. I can use from really cheap brushes to kind of a, you know, not so expensive one, but um, lately I'm painting with these ones. These are not pretty good, but you know, but they load uh, with some paint. That's pretty good. Okay, I'm just looking for a brush for drawing. Okay, just one second. Okay, this one. I'm gonna use use raw umber. And I'm gonna start first drawing the scar. Okay, hello Marius, hello Diane. Place the whole head here, around here. Yep. Here's my space for mixing the colors. Top of my canvas. Okay, the bottom of the chain, a little bit lower there. Okay, this this is the whole head. Okay. The face would be around here. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's okay. Okay. Now thinking about just the whole head, the top of the, the skull. If the hair, the top of the hair is here, the top of the skull is gonna be here. Okay. Now from the top of the head to the bottom, halfway we find the eyes. See, I'm just checking with the photograph. Mm, yeah. Okay. Now, check out the eyebrows. The eyebrows are around here. The eyebrows are on top of uh, the eye sockets. Okay, here. That's an indication the eyebrows to start drawing the eye socket. you want to simplify the drawing of the eye sockets just think about two things like that okay okay now the nasal bone is here here's the nasal bone here's a little bone that goes inside the nose here. It's called vomer. You can feel a little bit of the, the bone here. It will just press the base of our noses in that area. Okay. Let's see, we have here the cheekbone. 
which is called the zygomatic bone. Okay, it goes mm, around just let's say here, just there, stop there. Here, all this is the maxilla. Okay, all this. It goes from here. It goes up next to the nasal bone. And down here is the mandible. And the teeth. Mm. Okay. Let's continue. Okay. Uh, it goes like this. Okay, I'm gonna read some comments. Uh, hello, Evelyn. Hello, Nikki. Hello, Sylvia. Hello, Just Casual. Hello, Sharon. Uh, we're pur purchasing a model skull. Does it matter if it is life size or is smaller? It's okay. Hello, it's spring history. It's okay in size. Yeah. I, I have seen the ones that are just uh, pretty tiny, but you know, it's 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 more about your just uh, the bigger bones. Uh, we have a, a, a let's say. Uh, life size scar. You're gonna see more details, but for drawing, for painting, we don't need to know all those details. Okay, uh, here, for example, what uh, we take advantage is, uh, for example, uh, this bone here because we have a highlight here. Okay, I understand that this area, for example, for the nose, there is no bone here. Okay. It usually when we paint this area here, one side it represent this kind of greenish and the nose reddish, transparent reddish. Okay. And at the same time check out the teeth. They are not flat, you know. If we see from that up upper view, we're gonna see the teeth are on a surface that it looks like this. Like a tuna can. Okay, and the teeth goes like that. If we press our cheeks on this side, we can touch the last tooth here, and we realize, you know, that this all this whole area is your just muscles and fat tissue. Okay. I'm going to continue drawing this car. Like the other days, I'm going to paint just first half of the face and then the other, the other half of the face. Okay, here's the eye socket. From here, cheekbone. From here, maxilla. And all this is the mandible. Okay. The same here. Cheekbone or zygomatic bone. Maxilla. And mandible. Okay. Hello Marianne, hello Dita, hello Ingrid, 
que los leonites Continue. Okay, I got this, I got the top of the skull, okay, the, the cranium that goes like that, I'm just using raw umber, and i using a, a brush, if you check out this brush, I didn't clean this brush for a long time, it's kind of stiff, and that's what I want, you know, I'm just using the tip of the brush, And I'm not using any medium. Wow, too much heat, eh? <laughs> Looks like an alien. Okay. Okay, I got here the skull. We're gonna see a couple of depressions here. Let me check out the name, but I don't know if I could pronounce the name. But anyway, those are, uh, it's called, uh, just one second, what's the name of this? Supra Orbital for Foramen, eh, I think. Okay, another thing that we gotta pay attention when we draw this car is that the ups and downs that we see here in the forehead. Okay, because on the forehead we don't have like thick, thick muscles, we don't. And then the ups and downs that we see on the skull, we're gonna see a little bit of them when, we've, when, we, when we see the skin, okay? Which is different, for example, in this area, we see the muscle here, the, the bone, but we don't see bones in this area because it's full of muscles. But here's different, okay? check out check out the ups and downs and uh, something that I used to do is just uh, grab a skull because in the school of art we just we have some skulls and just closing my eyes and touch it okay? trying to I don't even know I, I, I cannot say that that helped me in some way but I'm pretty sure it, you know I'm pretty sure I learned something even just by touching don't now the form, okay. Okay, I'm uh, just comparing and thinking and trying to. I'm going slowly, you know. Remember, I gotta match the face, the photograph on top of this. And right now, I'm thinking that my skull is just tilted too much, and the face is not. It's not the same position. But anyway, I'm going slowly. I'm comparing a lot. I'm trying to match this skull with the photograph. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, I'll start painting half of the face. Um, yeah. Okay, let's see first. Here, you see the upper portion of the eye sockets. We place the eyebrows there. Okay, here are the eyebrows. Here's the bottom of the chin. Usually halfway from the eyebrows to the bottom of the chin, we find the bottom of the nose. Now do you think that's gonna that's gonna be we're gonna see those proportions today? I don't think so, you know. I think that he has a short nose. And it's not like he has a bigger, you know, mandible or a longer chin, but it's just like this his shorter nose. It makes this look a little bit longer. That's what I think on the photograph. Okay, now I always have on my left hand a brush or a pencil that I can use for measuring. 
just the same way that I used to measure when I was painting for life as a student doing this I can do the same here okay I'm not that close I cannot get too close to touch my my monitor but enough close enough to measure okay after measuring I can say that from the eyebrow to the nose if I repeat this I'm gonna get to this point more or less Okay, now let's think about values. I'm squinting down my eyes and seeing lights and shadows and trying to see where's the light coming from. Okay, to know that, obviously, I gotta see the shadows. If the shadows are here, the light is coming from here. Okay, yeah. there's not a lot of shadow, you know, it's coming exactly not from the left, you know, it's kind of this distance. And not from the left, but at the same time, kind of frontal light. Yeah, I got see shadows on both sides of the face. This one is darker. Okay. And I'm trying just uh, to squint on my eyes and, you know, see how many values I'm going to start with. Okay, I'm going to start mixing. Now, the photograph, uh, you know, I found this photograph and I don't think the skin color is pretty nice on the photograph. And, and, and I mean, I'm not so worried about copying the skin color, but it's okay, it's, it's even better when you have some, you know, clue about the skin color. I mean, when you see that on the photograph. Okay. Let's see. Let's start painting half of the face. I'm gonna start mixing just orange, raw umber, and white this is a pretty basic skin color okay now we gotta see if that's okay if you know it should be pinkier yellowish okay I'm gonna add a touch of coming red to make it a little bit pink yeah just there paint let's say the forehead I know for example there's light here and it goes to the contour of the face and it gets darker Comparing and thinking, uh, okay, okay, okay. Hello, Mary. Hello, Ingrid. Uh, just comparing. Ma Marina is, has a question. Uh, is he attempting to draw the skull of Leonardo DiCaprio? No, it's just a study. Okay, I'm picking any any skull. It's not even the same position the photograph is, is up, you know. But it doesn't matter because it's, it's kind of a combination between, you know, obviously we had the skull beneath the skin, everybody. But I'm trying just to match, knowing obviously the position of the, the eye socket, the nasal bone, and, you know, the maxilla and all of that. Knowing that and trying to match, but at the same time, it's just an amazing, you know, practice. We all have to study. If you're at the point that you've been practicing portraits, you've been painting portraits for a little bit, let's say for a few months, and you're getting better and better, you know, then is the time to start studying anatomy. Okay, don't study anatomy from the very beginning. Everybody's free to do whatever, you know, whatever every, everybody wants, but it's an advice that, because it's not like a waste of time. I think if we get something, it doesn't matter uh, when we study it, but we got the most, the most from studying the skull when we have more experience. 
on painting when we're not dealing with mixing colors or the, oil, the texture of the oil paint and all of those things when we are better in value control and drawing. Expecting the light. I'm gonna pick up another brush. I'm gonna mix again orange. Trying to keep it pretty simple the skin color orange, raw umber, white, and a touch of red. Okay, I think this is pretty easy to remember. You can see on his face the shadow that he has here. You no, know? now we know now why we see this shadow here and here. That's because of the cheekbone, psychomatic bone. Uh, mm, I'm comparing again. Uh, remember, I got the photograph next to my my canvas, and right now I'm moving my eyes. I I I, I keeping my eyes squinted down and moving like this, really fast. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's continue. Another thing that I have here on my screen is uh, a darker uh, version of the photograph because the photograph has too much light on this area and what I did is uh, I darkened up the photograph to see more clearly the, the values here on the lights okay I'm keeping that for for the end because right now uh, I just need the photograph is, is, is on the screen that is on the screen because you know I start uh, usually we start with just two, three, four values. It's pretty simple. brush and the paint the hair just pure raw umber I'm not using any medium okay when I get to the time to paint the background then I'm gonna use linseed oil to spread the paint faster on the canvas A mid tone here between these two. Just camium orange, raw umber, camium red, and white. Okay. Let's make this a little bit darker.
I'm gonna use a brush, a liner brush, double zero, and I want to draw few details of the face. Okay, I'm gonna just draw amber and let's draw this eye. Okay, first I'm gonna, uh, I think I'm gonna move the lower portion of the eye a little bit up. There, yeah. Okay, now what I see when, I, when, I, when I'm about to draw the eye, okay, I'm gonna draw, draw it here. What I see is this one line, this, and this, and this this okay something like that and that's what I'm gonna do here now as I draw the iris I paint the iris at the same time I gotta pay attention to the weight of the eye remember the shape of the weight of the eye Sometimes we paint the iris and we paint uh, or we draw the weight of the eye too big. Like it's just like drawing a circle, remember, and two triangles. Okay. Okay. Let's see the shape of the eyebrow. Back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm gonna read some comments. Okay, I'm gonna screen, screen up. Uh, John is asking me what preparation do you do on the canvas before I start start painting? Uh, uh, add the next uh, a layer of acrylic, just gray. How many cameras do you use? I uh, just use one camera. Yeah. Marina is saying, does he know what he's doing? <laughs> I can't see any Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio. Me. Sorry, I've been painting since I was a small kid, specializing in portraits, but never had need to, of drawing skulls. Okay, and yeah, that's okay, I think. Yep. You know, I gotta say that's a must to draw skulls. Yeah. Yeah, we need to, it's all, you know, we need to know more in order to see more. Uh, for a portrait painter, it's a must to always study skulls. But it's not like I'm gonna I'm gonna say that hey you're gonna just go deep and name know the names and all the little bones and all of that. No, it's it's not like that. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh. <laughs> everyone, everyone, every teacher teach different, but also teach. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. Okay. 
Let's try to pin Kevin Costner with his score. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, oh, Marini saying, I think he's still learning himself. Very easy for everybody without any real credential to say I'm a teacher. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, that's, that's true, I need some credentials. <laughs> I'm a teacher. Yeah, it's, it's pretty easy to say I'm a teacher today on social. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you know, just to make money. Yeah, that's true too. Yeah. Yeah, nobody can deny that. Yeah. Mm. What can I say? All of that is true. Yeah. I teach. Yeah, I teach. But no, at the same time, uh, I study. Like, you know, every day I practice. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, I'm checking the shape of the eyebrow, the eye. I'm squinting down my eyes and I try to remember you know try to kind of put all of this together like in one big shape and then i check out just the shape of the eye the top of the eye the eye and the, the lower eyelid all of that i think that's okay let's go over the nose i'm gonna add a little bit of red coming red and alicia and crimson let's draw the nostril No, I, I, I want to see more more of this eye. I'm gonna mix black and white. Okay, remember to check out the shape of the white of the eye. Every time that we paint this, is just like we are just painting or drawing a couple of triangles. Check out the relationship between those tiny triangles with this big circle does the iris See, I'm gonna see the expression. Mm. Mm. Kind of close, kind of close. No close enough. Oh, I wanna, I wanna read more comments. That was interesting. I wanna read Marina's comments. <laughs> I'm gonna read I, okay here I think I'm going to teach that's Marina my Marchese is saying I think I'm going to teach fine art and even history of, history of art online uh, watching this very humble I can say that and I am more than a qualified art art teacher yeah. okay Okay. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, looks like she's gone. Mm. Yeah. Stay a little bit more. You know, uh, 
I don't, I, I don't think that I feel that I gotta say something just, uh, uh, I find pretty interesting just knowing, you know, somebody, somebody's else's opinions, somebody else's opinions, yeah? Okay, just a second, just a second. Yeah, okay. Just checking, just a second. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna do the mouth. Okay, remember check and check it, check alignment. Okay, for example, here's the tool duck. The turduck and this wrinkle are aligned. Okay, here. Now the corner of the mouth and here, one side of the nose. upper lip, both lips darker, not more red here. Mm. Okay, I see a little bit of his face, eh, not enough, mm, not enough, not enough. Okay, let's go with the the you know the overall shape. First, I'm gonna paint one ear. Okay, I'm gonna read more comments. Hello, Monique. Okay. Uh, uh, hello, Miguel. Uh, okay. uh, I'm just looking for some questions. Okay, okay. Oh, thank you very, you know, you have really nice comments. Uh, thank you. Okay, I need to step back.
I painted Leonardo Wang's yeah. and uh, I mean I think I, I painted him for almost three hours and a half I think I don't remember but you know every face uh, has you know its own difficulties and I think I think I'm gonna struggle with this one but let's see Okay, let's go over some highlights. I'm mixing orange and white, a touch of yellow chrome. Okay, we know the cheekbone is here. We have a light here. Here is fat tissue, we have light here. Okay, on the mouth, on the skull, we see the teeth, we see this form. We have light here. when you paint this light oops, don't paint this light all the way to the corner of the mouth there is a different value here and this way we create the illusion the mouth is coming is coming forward okay now there is a, a bump here here and the chin It's the nose. Okay. Let's see if Marina is back. Okay. Marina, please come back. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna read more comments. Hello, Sinet. Uh, Nikeli is asking me at which stage do you focus on chroma and temperature? On chroma and temperature. Okay, about color, you know, for the beginning to the end, I try to simplify everything, like the same way with drawing with color. As soon as I paint more, I start thinking about temperature. But by comparison, you know, one color, for example, I can paint this color a little bit cooler around the face. Why? Just to make, to create this, the, to make the form, the forms round, you know, turns. Okay. But in, on this specific portrait, I don't see like a high contrast between like a warm light and a cool shadow. It's something uh, kind of neutral. Marina, oh, Marina's back. Mate, please don't be offended, but honestly, try another hobby. You'll find out to, ha how to, have, to have another talent other than painting, because I am so sorry, but just this one I can see. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Wow, I, I'm pretty tempted to watch uh, your paintings, Marina. Yeah, anyway. Okay, now until I'm painting. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm gonna uh, soften a little bit the surface. I'm gonna blend a little bit. For that, I use this brown brush. I forget to clean this one. Blending, just using the tip of the brush. And for smaller areas, I use uh, another brush. This is just a linear brush, like this one. Look at the shape of both brushes. This one, you know, you see the, the hair. It's no pointy anymore. 
when I got the brush on this stage it's just perfect for me for blending In the neck, uh, okay. I'm gonna mix here more a little bit more orange, raw umber, and white. Touch of coming red. The back, see, it looks kind of funny. Mm, I think the nose is not okay. Mm. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. Okay, I need, I need a piece of paper. Something just to block one side of the face. Yeah, I think I'm doing okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, okay, I'm gonna look for more Marina's uh, comments. So sorry guys, I just, you know, pretty excited just having some somebody to critique you, the, the harsh. Okay, do you even understand how, how to mix the colors? Oh my god, that was, oh, that hurt! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, and uh, okay, I'm gonna continue painting. Squinting down my eyes and I'm gonna add a little bit more saturation on the shadows. I have to check out the time. I love I love to spend like a, an hour on half of the face, another hour on the other half of the face, and then you know an hour trying to put everything together. Okay. Now remember the reddish colors on the face. The nose is gonna be more reddish. The upper and lower eyelid, the chin, and the cheek chicks, you know, in this case, this chick.
okay. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Garu. Yeah. Hello, Alida. Uh, okay. Nikki saying we always defend you, Renzo. <laughs> Okay. Um, Marina is saying I didn't mean to knock you down. Sorry, just keep developing. You are, you are okay. Cool try, mate. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh no, no, you're not knocking, knocking me down. Uh, no, I think I'm kind of old. Yeah, to to be knocked down, you know, for some for some comments. That's okay. I need more paper towel. Oh. That's that's okay, you know. I'm not, no, I'm not gonna say that I'm, I'm made of stone anyway. When somebody uh, when we got critiqued, we feel we feel it, you know. But this, uh, you know, it's just just different. It's just like the other day I was critiquing what, uh, my daughter's drawing, and she got pretty sensitive, and I said, "Oh, what happened?" she's 19 you know and then next day she told me you almost made me cry I said what why you know to critique was kind of tough and uh, wow I didn't even notice you know I was trying to help her Squinting down my eyes, trying to see some comparing values. Mm, okay. Added a little bit of red to the nose, a little bit of pink. Touch of orange, just pure orange. I'm gonna mix the orange here. Just to add more saturation to the nose. You know, we always want the nose to pop forward. One thing, remember, don't paint the, the nostrils, you know, too dark. Okay, now let's say that uh, I got a little bit of volume, you know, I laid down some values. Now I'm going to start thinking more about color, saturation, color, the reddish colors, even add some green in some areas. Or if, uh, let's say I decide to add um, the background, for example, if I decide to add a saturated background, i got to think that uh, that's going to affect the skin color. Okay, but I think I, I, I just like it, uh, this gray for the background. Mm, yeah, I think it's okay. Let's see, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mix some green. Okay, remember the greenish areas on the face here on the nasal bone? 
here, just below the lower eyelid. It just uh, we gotta be sure to match, you know, the value. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of light to the neck. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's step back. Check out again. Yeah, just comparing uh okay, okay. Okay. Uh. Oh hi Melanie. Oh wow, okay. Well, I, I'm just going live in YouTube and Facebook, and I think Facebook I got, the, I don't know if a guy or a woman then. I got like, like 10 comments, and same, just the same figure. Okay, okay, today is my day. <laughs> oh, hello, Nordin. Okay, go back to painting. Okay, let's see, let's see. Mm almost an hour you know I'm gonna just switch to the to the other half of the face I want to draw a little bit of the ear Okay, I want to work a little bit on the mouth. I think I'm going to light up. No, something there that... Uh, okay, maybe move up the lip a little bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm.
Okay. No, I see a little bit of his face. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna blend again. I was watching one of his movies a few days ago. What was the name? Something about. Oh, don't look up! Yeah, it was pretty funny. Yo, I mean, no, no, it's not like a regular funny, you know, but. Uh, uh, kind of, how do you say, dark humor? Okay, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of black and a little and crimson. Just a tiny bit. This brush, remember, is double zero. Now mixing raw umber with a and crimson. Okay, I gotta darken up this area here. Yeah, more light on the forehead. Okay, I'm gonna read some comments. <laughs> uh, okay. 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 Uh, uh, looking for some questions. Uh, Try learning how not to be a chump like while you are. Uh, <laughs> I tried to read some comments, but uh, uh, you know, like, okay. Uh, Nikki saying a cool thing about Renzo is that he likes to challenge himself with new approaches once in a while. He doesn't know what to teach. The skull anatomy half face approach. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. This is just like uh, my 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 personal, I mean, challenge. Yeah, I think it's a challenge. Yeah. 
Iya. Nikki saying you have many many friends or so. Oh, that's that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna ask something to my friends. Okay, send me some money. No, no, press the like button. <laughs> okay, if you like your, I video, press the like button. I'm gonna step back. Well, it's just you know you know what? I, as soon as I, I, my painting is looking it's looking like a woman. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't you think? Mm, okay, I think I, I, I got his face kind of close, you know, but... Uh, okay, anyway, I, I'm going to continue. Just five more minutes. Okay, and then I'm going to move to the other half of the face. light on the nose, his nose it looks kind of uh, too rounded I think. I mix white, a touch of chrome yellow and I'm gonna add a highlight here. Okay, a little bit of orange and white around the highlight. Okay. I just want to make the, the nose a little bit warmer, just to make the nose pop forward, okay? Squint down my eyes, something about his eyes, you know, that I see as soon as I squint down my eyes here, it's darker, here, darker, and obviously how the upper eyelid is touching the eye. That's something that I, uh, I think I gotta be pretty careful with that because that's what creates expression of his eyes yep yeah okay I'm gonna blend a little bit Okay, I think that's enough with this half of the face. Yep. Mm, what about the background? Uh, okay. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna continue painting the other half of the face, and at the end, I'm gonna paint the background because I, I don't think I'm gonna change that much in the background. It's gonna be just, you know, the same. Yeah, just a little bit darker. Mm 
Okay, 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 okay. Okay, let's move to the other half of the face, and then I see some, okay, uh, if I stay here in this half of the face a little bit more, you know, uh, yeah, I think that's enough, because I paint the other half, and then I retouch, you know, the whole face. Yeah, just thinking, just thinking. Now I need to compare a little bit. Let's check out the eyes. Yeah, I'm going to start just the same way that I started this half of the face. It was just with the first color that I mixed that was orange, raw umber and white. Oh, I did a touch of red. I remember I forgot that. Okay. Let's see. Uh, now one thing, this side of the face, it shouldn't be as bright as this side of the face. Okay, remember not all the highlights are the same. But now when I, I squint on my eyes, it looks like the highlight on the forehead, the nose, the cheek, the chin, it's just, it has the same intensity, okay? But we gotta make a difference there. You know, since the light is coming from up, usually the lightest light that would be the forehead, tip of the nose and then the light, the highlight on the chin is no, it shouldn't be as bright as the highlight on the nose or the, or the forehead okay I painted the forehead yeah, just this value, now I'm gonna paint oh, the half of the nose too okay uh, now I'm gonna mix a darker variation, just orange, brown, and white. Touch of red. Let's see if this darker than this one. Yep. Squinting down my eyes, stepping back. Mm, yeah, that's okay. Remember always here the globella, this area that looks like a triangle. Here it's a little bit darker, this space, okay? A little bit darker than the forehead and the nose. Just a tiny bit darker. Uh, the question, are you using only this little brush, zero, 00? Oh, yes, just, I got this one just for the tears. Are you going back to the eyes? Yeah, I'm gonna go back to everything, yeah. Okay, just casual. Thank you for being here. Joel Mick, Nick is saying, what's the general rule about the location of your green sh shadow color? It is where there is this thin skin bone and less flesh yeah 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 for sure 
Yeah. Uh, on the men, for example, there's a lot of green here, you know. Obviously, that's for the hair on the face. Uh, this area here is touching the zygomatic bone. This area is green, is touching the nasal bone. There's not too much muscles there. Okay. The pinky, the reddish areas are the areas that has more blood, more muscles. Mm -hmm. Dita is saying Renzo has fun this evening. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 I, I'm just comparing. Okay, and comparing. Um, okay, I'm gonna just move to to a different value. I'm gonna pick up a different brush and let's go with this with a darker value. Orange, you know, raw umber and white, a touch of red, okay. I'm squinting down my eyes, but a lot. I mean, I see everything blurry. That's the only way I have to to trying to see at something here in the shadow. You know, that I can just try to see the lightning. Yeah. Keeping my keeping my eyes just like that, kind of almost closed down. I'm gonna just uh, add. A brush stroke here, too. a couple of brush strokes here and here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think no. I think I gotta move the eye a little bit low, a little bit down. Okay. Not sure. Not so sure yet. I need more. You know, the more we see on the canvas, the more we're able to to compare, especially in portraits. Don't. I mean. We gotta just wait. We cannot jump on making corrections when, at the beginning, you know, there's too much to correct. It's just, you gotta just move, move. And uh, remember that the way that I paint, I check out drawing, then values, then color. And I go back again over the same things. Drawing, values, and color. Color, let's say that's the last thing, the last thing that uh, uh, I pay attention uh, because at the end uh, usually I hang some satura saturated colors, I saturate more of some colors, you know, shadows. Uh, I start a little bit uh, thinking about temperature, which you know is about color, but the more important that's going to be always establishing uh, the values, you know, light sh and uh, mid, -tone, mid tones and shadows. Mm, okay. I need more paint here. Lumber, orange. You know, I see a reflected light here on the mandible, on his mandible. And, you know, every time that I saw that, for me, it's just an invitation to add some a color there. The color that I love to add is orange. 
And I see it's orange there, you know? but I don't know, I mean, it's too early to to tell what's, what's the color they're going to add there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make the, the face a little bit whiter. brush hey uh, I gotta check out this pretty gonna be pretty careful here mm. okay I'm just gonna darken up this area Bigger brush to paint the hair. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. I got a question here, a suggestion, the bit YouTube Jacob. Let's see your brush management. How you keep them clean and organized as you paint. Oh, yeah, kind of difficult to show. But you know, I got a little, uh, a small table here. And I use, uh, I don't clean the brushes because uh, I clean the brushes as soon as I finish up the session, but I don't wanna spend the time, you know, cleaning the brushes. I just, at, at the end, I ended up using like 10, 15 brushes. I added a little bit of linseed oil to the brush, just to spread the paint here. And when I clean the brushes, I just use, you know, tropenoid. But not the ones that you buy in another store. It's just the one that you buy in a hardware store. Tropenoid and thinner. But I mean, it's okay just with tropenoid. Thinner is pretty, it's pretty I mean, it's, it's pretty hard to smell. It's, you know, if you don't, uh, if you don't clean your brushes with thinner in a ventilated area, just thinner when I forget about a brush and I leave, I leave the brush there for a week. It's, it's almost hard rock. You know, thinner is pretty, pretty strong. It's just, it's gonna clean the brush. But I use a mask. I go out to a, a patio that I have here. I think I clean the brushes there. The width of the face is not okay, but at the same time, I gotta say that he has a pretty square mandible. Yeah, I just gotta continue painting, and uh, I need more. I need more. I need to paint more. Okay. 
Okay, let's see the shape of the of the forehead. Okay. Let's see something like this. Okay. Let's check our alignments. Center line of the face. Yeah. Remember, you can check check out all the things. I usually I check out an angle here that is sometimes a forty five degree angle. Okay. I used to do a lot of marks over my paintings. I stopped doing that. I don't know why. I just love to do this is is oh wow somebody's calling me okay let's see just one just one second to you too Do you do? Okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry. You know, I get I gotta answer the phone. If I don't answer the phone, I mean. It's just gonna continue just ringing and ringing. Yeah. You know, it's my wife, she calls, I don't answer, she calls again, and then she stopped calling, and then my daughter, she started calling me. And then my son, and then all of them. <laughs> I'm gonna work on the on this eye a little bit. Okay, I, I, mm, 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 uh, there. Okay. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Okay, I think I'm doing okay. Yeah, I see the shape of the the shape of the face. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna step back. Oh, the video is telling me so you're using one brush for multiple values. Oh, no, no, I use so many brushes. Yeah, for let's say that for each value, I use a different brush. Yeah. What happened to the left eye, Renzo? So it's fundamental for you to focus on a very good work of the eyes, which are so central and the most important element in a portrait. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then, yeah, uh, you know, after I paint the, the right side of the face, I gotta just check out always, you know, it's, it's, it's the relationship between the eyes, the distance between the eyes. I'm gonna check out all of those things. Hello, Barbara. <laughs> okay, thank you, Barbara. Nikki saying Renzo has an order to his process. He doesn't get in a hurry, but goes from area to area to eventually get to the whole foundation. To the whole foundation has to come before detail, detailed, finished work. Yeah. 
that's right. Mm. Okay, let's see. The the weight of the eye here is just like a tiny triangle. Okay. Now, obviously, uh, when I paint, uh, let's say, like I painted here, this the white of the eye, the sclera, and I mentioned that it's a tiny triangle. It's not just about painting this shape, you know. As when I paint this, I'm checking the alignment with the nose, the mouth, you know, with, for example, to the left with the eyebrow. Anything, anything that that's gonna help me to place the eye on the right the right position have a doubt ab about moving the position of this eye maybe I'm gonna end up moving the eye a little bit to the left maybe okay I'm just thinking out loud Okay, you can see on this eye, basically what you see is just two lines, one here, the other one here, and the other one, okay? Obviously, I, I, when I simplify the eye, I try to simplify what I see, it's just what I see, I just try to copy that. I gotta go back, obviously, to, to make some curves there and soften edges and all of that. See the shape of the mouth. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to paint the highlight first here. Okay, I'm stepping back and squinting down my eyes and trying to compare just the whole face. Yeah, I need to paint a little bit of the teeth. Garu George saying, Oh, <laughs> okay. okay, okay. Hello, Susan. Okay, thank you, Frankie. <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um. Mm -hmm. I think the, the width of the face is not okay. 
yeah, I know something's not okay there. Mm. Let's go, let's go slowly. How do you say it? slowly but surely? That's the way to say. I cannot hear that. Amber and Alyssa and Crimson. The shadow, this cast shadow is pretty dark. See a little bit of a reflected light in the upper lip here. Mm -hmm. Yep, a little bit of that. A little bit of light in the upper lip. Mm. Okay, I'm going to soften some edges here. I think I got, no, I got the eyes. Yeah, okay, okay. I wanna think that the, I, I wanna think that I'm getting closer. <laughs> okay, let's see. I got the eyes, the nose. Yeah, here, but around the face, that's the problem, especially here. Yeah. Hmm. I think this half was okay. This half is a little bit different. Yeah. Mm, okay. Anyway. Okay. Let's continue. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm just thinking how I'm gonna fix the fee. Obviously, I gotta, you know, how much I'm gonna just. Okay, and at the same time, I'm thinking uh, about adding more color to the face, uh, the reflected light. You know, I think, I usually, I see orange here, yeah? And you all know, I think, the people that follow me my channel, that I love to add orange. But I, I don't know why today maybe it's not going to be okay. Uh, I see the orange there, but I don't know, maybe I could love to add blue. 
let's see, a reflected light blue. And if it's not working, okay, I'm just gonna add orange. I'm gonna clean it, I'm gonna add orange. Okay, let's see about the blue. Mm. There. Now, uh, if I'm making this, I gotta change. Uh, you know, this is orange or yellowish for one reason. You know, the the sweater. It has this kind of yellowish color. Now I added this light blue. I should change this. Yeah, let's say that the line is coming from nowhere. The reflected light. Okay, let's see how much I can just uh, push this color here. I'm gonna just try to make it pretty, pretty uh, saturated. I mean, not that much, but let's see. Now, if you work like me on a gray canvas, if anybody works on a gray canvas, when you add a pure color, uh, you don't see the color like, you know, like pretty intense, even that you add it directly from the tube, it's because of the gray canvas. The only way to see it is just uh, using a palette knife and lay down the paint pretty thick, because you see a transparency, you know. Uh, if I pick up pure yellow and I just make it transparent, you're going to see some green. Yellow plus the gray of the canvas. You see some greenish color. Yeah, I don't like the orangey color. Got the accent on the eyes, nose, mouth. Mm. I think I fixed a little bit the width of the face here. Okay. Okay. I'm just thinking about some accents. Yeah. Uh, I'm just in just raw amber. Here with cadmium red, okay? Okay, now raw amber again with a little bit of a and crimson. I'm just checking on some accents. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna keep this edge kind of lost. I think that's gonna be my best option. Okay. 
I'm gonna keep the edge here a little bit sharp a little bit sharp I mean not something pretty pretty sharp because there's not too much contrast there okay uh, for the background I'm gonna make it darker up here I need more than seed oil Let's see, I'm gonna read the comments. Anyone's, anyone else from Chicago here? Okay. David, YouTube, Jacob is saying that. Hello. Uh, hello, Phil. Uh, Marini is saying he wronged the light in the eyes completely. Completely! Those eyes, those bloody eyes! Those bloody eyes are so hard to look at. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Oh, thank you so much, Melanie, for the super chat. Uh, oh, Marina is saying bye. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hello. Oh, hola, Jose Luis. Desde España. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, now the Marina is gone. Oh, she's saying that she loves me. Okay, thank you. Now she's gone. Let, let's speak bad. Let's speak. Let's speak ba bad about Marina. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know, it's just. Uh, oh, may, maybe I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Okay. May, maybe. Maybe I should feel feel like. Uh, like how do you what, how, how do you feel when somebody offend you? Offended? Offended? Eh? Offended? No, 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 that's not that's not the word. Eh? Okay, no, I don't know how to say. Maybe, but that's okay for me, you know. Okay. 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 Anyway, okay, let's see. But anyway, that was pretty funny. I mean, but I gotta say sorry for everybody okay because uh, i saw so many was commenting and you know and maybe pretty sure some of you you just thought that i should block you know this person but you know i think everybody is free to have an opinion yeah and i don't know for what what reason but kind of i love sometimes on rough critiques yeah it feels i feel i feel like i deserve it you know because i'm a critiquer every friday every friday i critique my patrons yeah okay i'm gonna mix raw umber black and white Okay. Oh, thank you, David YouTube. Okay, another another super chat. Oh my God, I'm getting some money from here. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, a coffee link. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. That, okay, that, okay, I'm going to ask Marina to, you know, to come back next week. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm going to put my coffee link. Oh, speaking about, uh, you know, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, that, uh, uh, I don't know where's the coffee link. Yeah. Okay, I have the coffee link here. Okay, uh, speaking about you all giving me money. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't sound it doesn't sound okay. That's my coffee link. Uh, you know, I got a new option uh, from YouTube that is called membership. Uh, but to be honest, I don't have anything to offer in YouTube because I think, uh, like, um, obviously, obviously, uh, I'm not speaking about the live streams that I do once a week. I mean, I don't have anything more to offer. And it's something like, uh, it's kind of YouTube uh, is becoming something close to Patreon, you know, and it has something kind of called to the tiers on Patreon. The thing is, like, now you're going to see an icon on my, on my channel that it says join, okay? And if somebody wants to support my channel, I mean, the only option that I got there is just one dollar. One dollar per month. <laughs> You know, it's it just that, that low because I don't have anything to give back, you know, for that dollar. It just, I mean, uh, yeah, not yet. I mean, I'm planning to do something. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe some, but I don't know. I don't have any idea right now, but that's the option, you know. Uh, the thing is, what you got for that dollar, nothing. The thing is, you got, you know, these icons, these emojis, uh, and if somebody just join your name, it's going to be like, uh, you're going to see next to your name an icon, a kind of a ba batch, ba batch, batch, yeah, okay, yeah, something like that. Uh, Mm. Mm. Yeah, I was checking out some YouTube channels and they basically they have some private live streams just with members. Yeah, obviously uh there are kind of different tiers on YouTube too. You can just move up on the price, you know. I don't know if I do something. I could do something like that. I think I have enough with Patreon. Yeah. Anyway, you can see the option there. I'm gonna put the link here if somebody wants wants to try it.
Oh, thank you so much, uh, Monique. I got that coffee from Monique. Oh, here's the link to join. Okay, I need to add more light uh, here on the face and make it a little bit pinky. Okay, and a yellowish highlight there. Just be sure that the highlight here is brighter. Oh, bye, Dita. Hello, Bob. Les socks. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, see you later, David YouTube Jacob. I need a uh, fan brush. Okay, I have one here. I'm gonna paint the hair. Mm. Uh, the hair in the photograph looks like gray, kind of an orange gray, but I'm pretty sure he's blonde.
<laughs> okay. Okay, I got another critique here. This is uh, a a very drunk Leonardo DiCaprio's twin bad brother. He says, sorry, but that's how I see it. Thank you, Marina. <laughs> oh, thank you, Nikki. Thank you. But that's not harsh enough, uh, Marina. I think you can do better. Go ahead, shoot. Mm. Oh, that, that, I remember some movie that said, it's all, it's all, it's all, that's, that's all you got. Light on the forehead. Uh, see, now it's time to see. I uh, like I mentioned before, I got a darker photograph here. I'm gonna put it on the screen. I'm gonna take out the skull right here, and I got this one. I know it's pretty small here, but I have it here bigger, you know. This way you can see darker values. It's just like it's squinting down oh, the eyes. But obviously I can see more clearly here. Some, some mid-tones and darker values. Uh, for example, uh, I think I could, I could darker, I could make this a little bit darker. There. Here too.
uh, squinting down my eyes, watching my painting and comparing with the darker photograph. Because the art, the artist is saying the lips need a little bit of fixing and maybe the left eye. Okay, I'm gonna check out on that. Oh, Marini is saying anyway, it's just a joke. It looks nice, but that's not good. Yeah. What happened here? Yeah. You're being rough. You're being nice. I don't like that. Yeah. Uh, you rough, you keep it rough to the end. <laughs> uh. Okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna continue fixing values here. Mm. Brilliant.
Okay, Nikki saying <laughs> this channel is about fine art at a prima portraiture, not fireworks. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, Marina is saying, I just want to tease you a little, Lorenzo. Take it easy. You're a nice person. Um, okay. Uh, uh, Dayan is saying, say, saying, tell me if I'm wrong. Is this left eye painted a little too much on the right? not close enough to his nose. Okay, I'm gonna check on that. Yeah, not so sure, maybe, maybe, maybe it's the nose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Nikki saying, Lord, what a session this has become. <laughs> yeah. I was pretty entertained today. A roller coaster ride of learning. Okay. Uh, hey Marina, but I want a, a harsh critique. Okay, I'm waiting for it. Okay. I'm working right now, checking out the. Uh, you see that? Okay. This is the upper image. Oh, it looks like a. Maybe you don't see that they have changed the image? Yeah? Okay. Okay, anyway. Oh, hello, Anna. Sibowska, sorry if I don't know how to pronounce your name. Uh, oh, Polish. Okay, oh. Okay, yeah, this is a canvas. This is a canvas. Uh, I toned the canvas with uh, acrylic. I prepared my own canvases with uh, three layers of gesso. Three, four layers of gesso. It depends on uh, the tooth of the canvas. Somebody was mentioned this eye or this eye. Okay. Yeah. yeah uh, something is wrong, definitely. You know, but I gotta continue just working. Uh, you know, I work on values. I check out the drawing. I check out color. I'm gonna take note about that, about the eyes. Yeah, right now I'm, I'm, I'm fixing values, for example, I'm making this shadow a little bit darker. Just a little bit darker. Let's make this uh, more rounded. Okay. The same here. A little bit darker. to work on this eye I'm softening some edges. Oops, don't 
to red. I have to add green here. I need some cast shadow from the upper lip on the teeth. Okay, I'm gonna blend a little bit. Oh, Maggi is telling me what about the nose is it at the same angle of the photo okay okay I'm gonna check out uh, okay I'm gonna pay attention to this because you know the last portrait I painted I have a, a mis I had a mistake I had a mistake on the angle of the nose and now maybe 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 I'm making the same mistake
Let's see if I, somebody has any suggestion. Okay, uh, and, the, and then the mouth would need to come out on the, the right side, okay? Oh, thank you so much, Anna Suba, for your super chat. Wow. Maggie saying, uh, I apologize if I'm wrong. I'm trying to help, but really not sure. Hey, no, thank you so much, Maggie. Yeah. I'm gonna stop thinking about the face so just for a second and uh, I mean obviously I cannot keep thinking about the face but just for a second I wanna just see the whole you know portrait and I wanna see if I make something different uh, like uh, maybe uh, I'm gonna darken up the background here just to create more contrast and you're choosing black okay okay I'm going to step back and check out I think I like this contrast here. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to darken up up here with a little bit of Nisid oil and just black. Darker or lighter. Okay. A little bit of blue. A little bit of Alicia and Crimson. We don't see much about these touches of color but definitely that helps when it's about color okay, I'm gonna just soften the edge here Or is the shadow or I gotta move one eye? Okay. Now let's check out the reverse image, okay? I'm, uh, I'm going to start Photoshop, just one second. Okay. 
I'm gonna capture the screen. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen. Just one second. Okay, here's Photoshop. Okay, what you see here is what I, what I see in OBS. This is the OBS, a program to a program to use to stream. To stream. Okay, I'm going to cut this. I'm gonna make this bigger. Okay, I'm gonna make uh, this one bigger. too colorful here on the screen, I don't know why. I'll knock down the color a little bit. Okay, there. Now I'm gonna reverse it. Yeah, I need more shadows. What the one thing that I, I noticed that I need to darken up the shadow on the face. Yeah. I'm gonna do it here. Let's see if the helps on add more contrast. Yeah, that helps. Okay. Yeah, I gotta soften the, the upper eyelids. I see some really harsh lines here, you know, dark, dark. Yeah, that's, that's too much. Okay, okay, yeah, no, no, okay, I'm gonna mistake. What I'm seeing is just this is too dark. Okay, about the mouth, I think more highlight on the chin. Yeah, it's kind of difficult to, to see. I need to make it the same size, a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. Okay, for example, here on this eye, I think it's good here yeah the other eye here the eyebrows different okay yeah yeah the eyebrows different there about the nose i have to move the light on the nose a little bit lower about the mouth it looks like uh no and i need more chin okay that's the things that i see now yeah more chin uh, this eyebrow uh, darker shadows uh, and more rounded chains okay I'm gonna go back to the painting there now I gotta remember all the things that I said mm. okay Okay, does uh, this type kind of comparison is a must? Okay, remember use a mirror, and of course, if, if, if you know you all have Photoshop, it's, it's much better. Light, highlight on the chain. That was one thing. The shape of the of this. Uh, eyebrow. Mm 
What, what is I mentioned? Oh my god, I forgot. Oh, the, the light on the nose. The, mm, okay, first I'm gonna add a reflected light that I see on the base of the nose here. So I'm gonna gotta move the light a little bit down. Okay, a little bit of orange. About the mouth, it was something about maybe uh, yeah, moving the highlight a little bit to the left. on the chin yeah I think this highlight on the chin is pretty important it makes the chin come out okay the other thing it was uh, about the shadow that to darken up the shadow more rounded Oh wow, I'm trying to read the comments here. It looks like everything just turns out Italian. It's <laughs> pretty nice. Joel Mitnick is telling me I think the mouth is too far for the for far to the right. It's past the pupil. Okay, I'm gonna check out that. Melanie is telling me I think the shadow beneath her lower lip is too dark. Oh, I was working just that.
<clears throat> I don't think I'm uh, uh, having a sore throat. What happened? I've been speaking. I've been speaking and drinking uh, cool uh, soda, cool Coke. <clears throat> now that I'm feeling you know, a little bit of a sore throat. Oh, I was trying to remember when I checked out the, you know, Photoshop. Now it came to me. I have to make the shadow a little bit darker. Let's 
it's the time. It's almost three hours. Okay. I'm gonna paint maybe fifteen more minutes. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna read some comments. Uh, okay. I'm just scrolling up to see if I find a question. Thank you, thank you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Sharon. Thank you. Oh, Marini is saying that the painting is pretty good. Okay. Okay, I got ten more minutes. Yeah, I think I'm close, close enough. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna soften some. Now, for example, the 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 eyebrows are too dark. I'm just going to light them up a little bit. should add more saturation in some areas maybe something to check out if something is too dark mm, well, I think everything is okay a uh, little bit of green here I don't see the green here I 
I can see the green here. Okay. More light here. <clears throat> okay, what else, what else? So I'm gonna add more, more color to the lips. Mixing orange, red and white. <clears throat> okay, squinting on my eyes again. Remember the order of the highlights, not all the highlights are the same, and you choose which highlight you add, you make it lighter or you change something to add contrast, it could be color, it could be anything. For example, it's different a highlight that is, you know, you mix it with just white and yellow, and a highlight that is just pure white, or a highlight is white and orange, or a highlight that is white or blue, okay? All of them are gonna work as a highlight, but uh, for example, I could, I could use orange, this one here, the, the light here and you use this with yellow for here why because this highlight is gonna make the nose pop forward more than the other one okay it's not just about one color is always the relationship with the rest everything is working you know as a whole okay I think his nose is a little bit wider Not so sure. Okay, I'm gonna read the comments. Okay. Okay. 
Mar Marina is asking me for, for is asking for forgiveness. <laughs> okay. What do you think, guys? I should forgive forgive her. <laughs> Oh, bye Melanie. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the super chat. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna capture my screen and I'm gonna check out again Photoshop. I'm gonna share my screen. Yep, and now here comes the new. Okay, here's. Kind of too colorful. Okay, I'm gonna knock down the color a little bit. You all can see this, yeah? Well, let me read the comments. Sometimes I, I, I think I'm sharing and I'm not sharing. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. I got here. Oh, I got this opposite image. On. No. Mm, okay, I'm gonna pick up the photograph here. I'm gonna copy, paste, and I'm gonna make it bigger. Okay, now I'm gonna compare. Okay, one thing that I, I want to do is just darken up the photograph, see values, okay, look at the lights, highlights, okay, now I'm going to do the same with my painting, okay, yeah, there's a difference, yeah, look at my painting, it's just like I, ha I have I need more highlight on the forehead and uh, something on the nose and I need more light around the chin. Yeah, maybe that's why the chin doesn't look big enough or longer enough. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna reverse it. Yeah, but it looks... Yeah, I'm gonna say it looks close enough, eh? Looks pretty nice. Yeah. I'm happy with the painting. I could make it better, but I'm gonna just, just gonna paint maybe five more minutes just for the last touches. Uh, it's gonna be about color. For example, I'm gonna pick up some. Where's the brush? orange and red okay I'm gonna paint here where it's closer to the tear duct it's gonna make that area a little bit transparent okay a little bit of raw umber I see some eyelashes here oops Or light I was working in this area just okay 
these uh, what do you call uh, lines of expression just gonna make them a bit a bit darker okay there and this one and this one okay I'm gonna soften here a little bit of light some edges okay I'm gonna soften this edge a lot a lot lost edge here lost edge here light on the hair, yeah more light on the hair, a little bit light. Okay, okay, remember something from the last the last thing that I was checking on Photoshop, I gotta add more light here. Thank you so much everybody for being here and if uh, I really appreciate if you press the like button. Thank you so much for the super chat yeah. and for the coffees. Uh, you know that uh, you have my Patreon account where we paint alone portraits, still lives, a lot of you know, a draw alone. Today we're gonna have later a draw alone session. Okay, there. Uh, okay, uh, what is what is. Um, you know, I'm squinting down my eyes. I want to feel some softness, you know, and a little bit of movement. 
uh, uh, the, 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 the wind f uh, what I tried I mean I'm gonna mention a little bit of that uh, for example this shadow I, I didn't paint the shadow dark I added red you know to make it transparent which is different from the photograph you see is darker okay and obviously the way that it goes the brush stroke and the way that it softens the edge the idea is create some softness a little bit of movement okay or always uh, having a an edge like this like pre-lost is gonna create the illusion of the illusion of movement yes because it's just out, out of focus okay which is different when something is pretty static it's pretty sharp okay Uh, okay, what else? Yeah, I would love to spend more time working on the painting, but you know, we have a class later, and yeah, I gotta just go eat something and be ready for the class. Okay. That's it. I'm gonna add some la some glazes to this painting, I think. Oh wow, look at this sharp edge on the neck. I'm just gonna knock down this one. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much everybody for being here. Thank you so much for the super chat. Okay. Oh, okay. Marini saying thank you, Nikki. Love and, and peace. Yeah, love and peace <laughs> for everybody. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, okay, thank you so much, everybody. See you next week. I'm scrolling up. See if maybe somebody has a question. Uh, oh, Sharon is saying, I, I still don't know how, how to do a super chat. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, don't, I don't know either. <laughs> yeah. Looks like there's an icon that I, I see here an icon at, at the bottom of the chat box that has the dollar, dollars. A dollar icon. Okay. Okay. Hello, Nicola. Uh, okay. Thank you, Nico Nikolai. Need, need. Let's turn. Okay. I'm scrolling up to see if I have, you know, I didn't read any uh, question. Hmm. Yeah, hey, don't forget to smash the like button, please. Okay, that's it for today. Take care, everybody. See you next time. Bye.